So before you end up watching this entire video, I have to tell you that the full PowerShare feature isn't working just yet. That'll come later in a software update in hopefully a couple months. This video will go over what PowerShare is, the process of getting the equipment installed by a Tesla certified electrician, and then how does the energy work going from the Cybertruck to the house to the grid and just how does the energy flow? The quick explanation of PowerShare is that it's bi-directional charging equipment. So energy can flow from the charger into the truck or your electric vehicle, or that energy can go from the vehicle back into the charger and then go somewhere else like your home. So you can have a backup. Now the Cybertruck is Tesla's first vehicle to be able to share power back through that cable. And you know, Ford has something similar and Hyundai even has its own form of bi-directional power to be able to share some power from that charge port. Let's say the Cybertruck is fully charged at 100%. I use around 30 kilowatt hours per weekday with around 120 kilowatt hour battery. I know it's kind of around there. The Cybertruck technically could run my house for four days, theoretically. Of course, you probably wanna leave some battery in the Cybertruck so you can go to a charging station then come back and power your house some more, but there's all sorts of different strategies that you can start to kind of contemplate with PowerShare. So the equipment you need for PowerShare is one Cybertruck, one universal wall connector, and one Tesla gateway right there. The wall charger and the gateway here comes with the foundation series package, but that's a $20,000 markup from the actual truck price. If you were to get the equipment without the foundation series, the gateway right here is around $1,200 on their website and the universal wall charger is $620. So what are we at? We're just under $2,000 for just the equipment. But you gotta have this equipment installed by a Tesla certified electrician and that is not included in the price for the Cybertruck all-wheel drive. So real quick, my timeline was November 21st, 2019, I placed a reservation for the Cybertruck. Then on December 21st, 2023, four years later, I finalized the order for the Foundation Series all-wheel drive, the dual motor version. Then on March 18th, Car Charter Specialist, which is the certified electrician uh, for Tesla for all this equipment, they came out and gave uh, an estimate. Then on April 2nd, 2024, I got my VIN assigned, and then April 6th, I went ahead and picked up the Cybertruck and drove it home. Then finally on April 30th, we got the PowerShare install. So from picking up the Cybertruck to actually installation less than a month. All right, so how did I get this installed? Well, first of all, I, I left this hole here on purpose. This is not left here by the installer. I wanted to show the wires before patching this up uh, on camera. So when I finalized the order for the Cybertruck, Tesla assigned a local certified electrician to me. So they gave them my information and they reached out with an email. This company happened to be car charger specialists here in the Atlanta area. They came out and said, hey, we'd like to come out and give you an estimate for the installation. Now it's important to note here that the universal wall charger and this gateway, they will not come when you pick up the truck and they will not ship these to you. They will only ship that equipment to the certified uh, Tesla electrician. And I know some of you are like, look, I know what I'm doing. I know how to put the wires in the thing. Yeah, how hard, how hard could that be? Just put yourself in Tesla corporate shoes for a second. Imagine the PR nightmare of sending this equipment out and having somebody you know, playing with the main electrical wires coming into their house, thinking they know what they're doing. You know that, that some of these people have a hard time even putting in a AA battery into a remote the correct way. So maybe not the best idea. And even if you were able to get this equipment, in order to activate this equipment, the electricians that came had to send pictures. They had to take pictures and send it to Tesla to activate it, to prove that they installed it the correct way and that they knew what they were doing. So they won't even turn it on unless you are certified. Look, I know it's still kind of weird. You know, it's your stuff, but that's just how it's gonna work. Okay, so now how does all of this stuff work? Well, the electricians came in, they took all the panels off here and you have your main electrical coming and it usually comes in from the road from the power lines into here, and it goes to your circuit breakers, and then here's your kitchen, here's your AC, here's your laundry room, all that stuff. Well, they cut, or they just take it out, they just reroute it. They take the mains coming in from the power lines outside, and they say, nope, don't go directly to the circuit breakers here, go to this gateway first. Now there's more wires that go off this way, and that's what this gray wire is, and that gray wire goes all the way down to my wall charger. So you have your power from the street and then you have your power from your wall charger or your Cybertruck 
that come in to meet right here. And then this gateway decides, well, what should I power all of the circuit breakers with? Should it be from the road or the, the power line poles or should it be from your wall charger? And that's how it switches over. And this wiring is pretty serious. If you take a closer look, this gray wire is what goes to the wall charger. Inside of this gray sleeve, there's actually three wires in there, a ground and two uh, hot leads or power, and they are thick. That is all in there, nice and sleeved up. And then you'll see another little red wire. That's a communications wire that also goes to the wall charger. So that wall charger is very smart and it says, hey, I'm gonna send you some power. You should probably use it for this. Or it says, oh no, actually I wanna take some power. Go ahead and charge the truck. Communications and then your power lines are right there. And unfortunately I can't demonstrate the power share working from the truck back into the house as a backup yet because I'm waiting for a software update that is supposed to come within the next couple months. I don't know, but I'm assuming the cyber truck needs an update. The wall charger needs an update and probably the gateway also needs an update and they're all connected over Wi-Fi, so they can do that and it'll just auto update and then I'll show you. So make sure you subscribe if you want to see the house running off the cyber truck. Another cool feature about getting this equipment installed is that when it gets activated, you get an additional drop down in your Tesla app that shows your home. And remember how I said on the average weekday, I'm using about 30 kilowatts of uh, power. Well, this app will tell you your real time power usage and your energy use over time. So you can see yesterday, I used 30.7 kilowatt hours. And you can kind of scrub through and see basically when your AC kicks on and when it turns off. And you can see that the Cybertruck's plugged in right now. Look at it, you get a little Cybertruck plugged in. It knows it's in your little garage there. Another thing to note is that you get some tax incentives. I got an EV charger install rebate from my electric company, Georgia Power. That's $150 I'll get back. And then there's an alternative fuel vehicle refueling property credit from the IRS, which is 30% of the installation costs, which is gonna be around $700 uh, back when I file my taxes next year. So the electrician car charger specialist here in Atlanta came in super efficient, took less than four hours for the whole thing, installing the wall charger. Now I already had a Rivian wall charger, so it was a little bit easier on the labor and my circuit breaker and everything was pretty easy to get to. And there's a nice space for that gateway to be installed next to the circuit breaker. They were super helpful, answered all my questions, but now we just gotta wait for that software update. So if you'd like to see the Cybertruck eventually power my house, subscribe to the channel and you'll be notified. And if you have any questions at all, put it in the comments and I'll answer as many as I can.